It is hard to think about landscapes, especially mountains, without thinking about how they were formed. Maybe the most important process of their creation is, of course, erosion. We describe it as the process of eroding or being eroded by wind, water or other natural agents. In simple words, it's aging. Rocky surfaces are changing over time just like the human skin does. Scars, wrinkles and expressions are features that give character to our face and make us look more interesting. Now you can control the erosion amount in Blender 3D with the erosion mixer powered by erosion packs. This tool is available in two separate products, Terrain Mixer and AAA Terrains. If you are after higher quality details and more terrains to play with, then I suggest that you invest in AAA terrains. Otherwise, you're good to go with the terrain mixer package, or both. You will find all necessary instructions inside the package, just a few sentences because it's rather easy to use. You can open it as any other blend file or simply drag and drop it into the scene. Have in mind that you'll need a bit stronger machine to run it with 16K or even 8K height inputs. Don't expect much with the low-end machine. We use 3090Ti and i9, which serves us well. In case your machine can't swallow the highest quality 16K textures, try reducing the resolution in the photo editing software of your choice. In most situations, 8K or even 4K is more than enough. Regarding usage, the most important controls can be found under the modifiers list. The idea is to allow you to easily control the erosion amount, which you can do with just a few sliders. You can mix up to 4 height inputs, 2 is the minimum. Simply change the file path inside the image texture node to change the height input. You can also make minor and major changes to the terrain's overall form by clipping, sinking, adjusting strength or breaking it up into smaller sections. Erosion mix material works in sync with the erosion mix modifier. More precisely, it depends on it, so you can't really use it on other objects. At the moment, there are color, flow and texture mask node groups. You will find a bunch of image texture nodes inside of them. Replace the images with the ones you prefer. Try to remember that it is best to use the textures from the same erosion pack as where your height maps were stored. You don't have to use erosion mix material. For example, if you want to play with the distribution of soil, moss or snow, you can use advanced terrain material. It really depends on what you are after. Anyway, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment or join our Discord. Take care and bye.